and uh, I'm Li Xinjiang. I come from Sengjing Hospital, China Medical University. Uh, I actually, I learned a lot from the old talks and uh, uh, I'm very glad to have this conference. So let me uh, introduce my talk. My topic is about stem cells inhibit baroptosis after spinal cord injury. It's uh, overview. And uh, I have been studying for stem cells transplantation on spinal cord injury for, for about uh, um, over 10 years. So I have some, uh, some my uh, thoughts, my own thoughts. Um, so maybe it's a good opportunity for me to introduce. Okay, uh, spinal cord injury is a common neurological disease in clinical practice, characterized by numerous pathological changes, complex mechanisms, protracted disease course, and poor prognosis. Worldwide, approximately 27 million ICI cases reported in 2013 and is increasing at a rate of 930,000 per year. Uh, one report from Canada uh, data shows the lifetime medical expenses of each ICI patient is 3 million US dollars. It's huge and the national annual medical expenses related to SCI is about 2 billion US dollars. The etiology of SCI is diverse and mainly include two categories, traumatic and non-traumatic factors. The pathogenesis of SCI contain two main stages the primary injury stays and the secondary injury stays. Well, it can be divided into the early stage within two hours, acute stage from two hours to 48 hours, subacute stage from 48 hours to two weeks, intermediate stage from two weeks to six months, and the chronic stage about six months. But for I'm a rehabilitation doctor, so I think uh, we can rehab rehabilitate the patients as soon as possible. So, uh, except uh, stem cells, I think rehabilitation uh, is very good method to help the patients. So, to, from from this table, we can see uh, different uh, stages uh, happened in different uh, times. They have different uh, characteristics and the treatments. They here, chronic phase is more suitable for rehabilitation treatment. Spinal nerve damage after SCI involves multiple levels such as tissues, cells, and molecules. Among them, various forms of cell deaths in neurons after ICI are very important. Neuronal cells after ICI have been proven to undergo necrosis, apoptosis, necroptosis, pyroptosis, and viroptosis. So we use this table to show Different cell, uh, different cell deaths have different char characteristics, and uh, like viroptosis is air dependent. Uh, viroptosis is a new air related cell death mode, and it was discovered in 2012 as a no novel. Sorry, as a novel air dependent. Non apoptotic program cell death, viroptosis is characterized by the disturbance of air metabolism and the accumulation of lipid reactive oxygen species. So, this paper published in 2012. 
Fructosis is regulated by various ways. The defense and the resistance pathways to eliminate lipid peroxidation mainly include four signal pathways. The first three pathways are a little bit clear, but not the fourth. So in the future, we will study the fourth pathway to, uh, to, to have some uh, new study to have some uh, new findings. A fructosis was found in a red ICI model and was demonstrated to directly induce neuronal death. Studies have confirmed that fructosis inhibition after ICI is expected to improve prognosis. Lipid peroxidation and air overload are two important causes of fructosis after ICI, and they can theoretically be used as therapeutic targets. At present, the treatment of ICI is mainly neuroprotective therapy, including therapeutic hyperthermia, hormones, and the decom uh, decompression surgery. Effects of the above mentioned treatments are not satisfactory. So now, nowadays, we use combination of some methods. So, and there have been debates on the dose, time, efficacy, and safety. With the potential of stem cells to differentiate into nerve cells, people have high hopes for the use of stem cell transplantation to reverse the dysfunction of the ICI. Transplanted stem cells include mesenchymal stem cells, embryonic stem cells, neuron stem cells, pluripotent stem cells, and other cells like Swan cells and olfactory infusing cells. So this table shows us a dif different, different cell deaths have a, dif a different uh, stem cells have different uh, effects on SCI and they have advantages and uh, limitations. So like uh, we always use MIC MICs to treat a uh, spinal cord injury. So they had, uh, they had rapid proliferation and strong differentiation, easy access, few side effects no ethical concerns, but uh, still have some limitations. Uh, physical chemical properties of different stem cells are different. After compression, MSCs have the advantage of relatively easy acquisition, like what, have, what I have said, and preservation. Fewer set effects and risks no ethical problems, rapid proliferation, and strong differentiation. According to different sources, MSCs can be divided into bone marrow, umbilical cord, adipose, and others. So for different sources, MSCs have different uh, characteristics, like invasive procedure, passive continuity, proliferation, neural differentiation capacity, anti-inflammatory effect on SCI. And uh, we have uh, more and more studies on uh, BM sources and MSCs. Stem cells, especially MSCs in the treatment of SCI can differentiate into neurons directly. Not, not only neurons, but also oligodendrocytes and astrocytes. Besides direct differentiation into neurons, they also play a role in inhibiting neuron inflammation and scarring, stimulating angiogenesis and providing nutritional support. In addition, MSCs can exert therapeutic effects by secreting exosomes. So 
there are these people, there are these papers have published in 2020 and 2021. In addition, MSCs project immunomodulatory capability, capabilities and the ability to autonomously migrate to the region, which is called the homing feature, also beneficial to play a role in the treatment of ICI. MSCs for ICI have been successful in animal model-based experiments, almost every uh, animal exper experiments have good results, but it's, it's very difficult for the clinical trials because clinical trials are very, uh, are very difficult. You, you, can choose, you can choose some easy patients to have a stem cells injection. So the success of MSC in animal models of ICI has inspired extensive clinical trials. Before uh, 2012, uh, many, uh, many uh, stem cells transplantation uh, in, in China. So, uh, so sometimes uh, we cannot we can we cannot prove it's really is stem cells uh, action or other actions. So, according to the query results on clinical trials website, a total of eighty seven clinical trials about MSCs in treating ICI have been carried out. So we are uh, applying the clinical trials for about uh, two years, but uh, um, we cannot have the uh, data. We cannot, uh, we cannot put the, our clinical trials. Besides the bowel effects, MSCs derived exosomes may also inhibit various forms of cell death after SCI, including apoptosis, paroptosis, and autophagy, they are supported by some studies. These are studies. Paroptosis plays an important role in the secondary injury phase of SCI, and studies have shown that MSCs can inhibit paroptosis. Unfortunately, only a few studies on the treatment of neurological disease that can provide a partial basis for the treatment of pyroptosis by MSCs. Almost no directly related studies on pyroptosis uh, after ICI. And uh, she is that were demonstrated that intravenous infusion of MSCs in a male domestic pig model of cardiopulmonary resuscitation after cardiac arrest could significantly reduce the incidence of pyroptosis. But et cetera studied a mouse model of intracerebral hemorrhage and uh, concluded that the down regulation of microRNA 124 could indirectly upregulate FPN1 levels inhibit pyroptosis and ultimately exert neuroprotective effects. Here is Satcher analyzed the ICH mouse model and observed pyroptosis inhibition and reduced the neuronal injury after the infusion of microRNA 19, 19B3P modified adipose adipose derived MSCs exosomes. As technology advances the success rate and the accuracy of MSCs transplantation also improved significantly with the application of auxiliary means like MRI 
of FNIRS. After transplantation, protein modification and the gene remodeling can be used to induce MSC's differentiation more effectively. Applying biological scaffolds can improve the survival rate of MSCs after transplantation. But stem cells still have some problems and the limitation to treat the ICI. So like a heterogeneity, potential side effects, tumor blockage of small blood vessels, administration route, those doses, frequency. Some clinical studies only have small sample sizes and the low completion rates. So we still have a long way to, to, to use stem cells in clinical trials. So let me get a summary. Spinal cord injury is a serious neurological disease with difficult treatment and poor prognosis. Pyroptosis plays an important role in nerve injury after ICI. Stem cells, especially mes uh, mesenchymal stem cells, can be an ideal treatment for ICI due to their ability to promote nerve regeneration and inhibit cell death. Stem cells have the potential ability to inhibit pyroptosis after ICI, but convincing research results are still lacking and need further studies. So this point, point uh, is my uh, PhD student make. So uh, our team has Song Qifeng, Cui Qian, Wang Yashi, etc. So we have a small groups. We are small groups. And this building is our rehabilitation center. And I have a small lab. And we have 600 beds. We have uh, 250 members. Uh, our building was, uh, our building is located in Xinyang, Liaoning province, uh, Northeast China. So welcome to us. And uh, maybe next time we have a chance to connect, communicate, with each other face in face, face to face. So thank you very much. <laughs>